welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you are struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find a series of questions from different papers as far as 2017. Let us look at question 19. Question A. Paul invests 50,000 kwacha in a government bond at 9% simple interest per annum. How much will the bond be worth after 3 years? So the question is asking us to find how much will be the worth of the bond. So that's question A. A few things. Paul invest 50,000 at this interest, which is 9% for three years, because we are finding after three years. So we need to find how much will the bond be worth. So it's the total value of the bond. So the value of the bond, which is our core total value TV, is equal to the principal, which is the initial amount that you invest. So the principal amount, which is the, the, uh, the initial investment, the starting investment that you invest, plus the interest end. So the initial amount we know it is what? 50,000 kwacha. So what we need to, to, to find is now the interest end during this period. Once we find the interest end during this period, then we are good to go. So I'll use AI, which is interest, I mean IE, interest end, is equal to, so what is interest? So the interest end will be the principal, which is the amount invested multiplied by the rate, which is in this case the simple interest per annum. This is in percentages, then multiplied by time. So in this case, to find the interest end, it will be 50,000 multiplied by the rate is 9%, so it will be 9 over 100 because it's a percentage. Or you could use 0 0.09. Then multiply by time, which is 3 years. So others will make a mistake by just multiplying by 9. When you multiply by 9, instead of converting this 9% into percentages or into decimal places by dividing it by 100, then you mess up everything. So at this point we have 50,000 multiplied by 0 0.09 which is the 9 divided by 100 then multiply by 3. Then because this is a decimal point so the easiest way to multiply because remember you don't have a calculator is I'm going to multiply move these decimal places eh, by how many times? Two times. So one, two, then I delete these two zeros. So I'm going to remain with him. Nine multiplied by five hundred. Okay? So it will be okay. This is supposed to be the examiner's space. We don't need to light here, but here I don't have enough space I can light from here. So I'm going to have um, the five hundred multiplied by nine. Okay, so it will be 0, 0, 45. So 4,500 then multiply by 3. So I cancel these two zeros and move these two decimal places here because I want it to be a 9. That's the easiest way you can multiply instead of you dealing with decimal places. Alternative, what you could have done is, is this 15 multiplied by 9, which will give you a bigger number than multiplied by 3 but it will consume a lot of time but this principle I've told you is the quickest so it will be now 3 times 0 is 0 3 times 0 is 0, zero. then 3 times 5 15 cut 1 3 times 
4 is 12 plus 1 13 so 13,500 so the answer that I'm going to get here is 13,500 is the interest end so now we know now this interest end here so now to answer this question let me just create so so now this question becomes now 50,000 plus the interest end that we just found which is 13,500 this will give me 63,500 this will be how much this bond will be worth at the end of three years if you are good to go you can just multiply this by that by that then divide by 100 what you could have done again the same way I did here you could have just do this that then cancel this two then multiply 500 by 9 then multiply by 3 you get the 13,500 you still get the same thing so this is how you do it so once you do this you are good to go and this is a quacha so we can go there and light it properly on the answer space you see 63,500 quasha that will be the worth of the bond question B two cylindrical tins are geometrically similar the radius of the base of the smaller tin is 6 cm and that of the bigger tin is 90 cm given that the volume of the biggest tin is 108 cm cubic find the volume of the smaller tin so this is the case of ratios but moving from the ratio of the base to the volume so what is key here is if this is geometrically similar what it means because these are cylindrical tins so what it means is the height of the large one divided by the height of the smaller one is in the same ratio as the radius of the large one divided by, by the radius of the smaller one that's what it means this ratio remains the same so if the ratio remains the same we can use this to find the volume so the volume we just need to cube it so what now we need to do is we need to simplify the ratio of these two which is in the ratio of the smaller tin which is this the base radius of the base and of a bigger tin so the ratio um, let me say this is a small tin then this is a bigger tin so the radius of a small tin is six centimeter cubic then this is nine centimeter cubic so in the lowest tin ratio we need to divide by three so this will be two two three this is the ratio but now we are finding the volumes so the ratio of the volumes of these two will be now so if i say small tin divide by bigger tin this is the ratio so these will be the ratio so the ratio of these two will be two over three but because it's a volume so the volume remember to find the volume you are multiplying the same thing over and over if you are finding the volume of the square cubic it will be l to the power three the length you multiply is three times so what we need to do is we need to cube the ratio of these two sides the radius then this will give us in the volume of the small tin divided by the volume of the large tin so remember when you're dealing with the ratio of the volumes you cube the sides in this case the size we're dealing with is in the radius if it was the height you cube them so when you cube the sides that are geometrically similar the cube of those ratios will be the same as the cube of their respective volume the ratio of those two cubes so this is where the catch is if it was the square if it was the area you square them and in that case it will be the square of the size so each side that ratio will square it then you equate to the ratio of their areas this question always comes is either the cubic is either the area one of those is always there so at this point we know the volume of the large tin the volume is this one 108 so we just come here 
So we are going to 2 to the power 3 is 8. We we'll use here. Then over 3 to the power 3 is 27. Is equal to what's the volume of the smaller tin is what the question is asking us to find. Find the volume of the smaller tin. So I will leave it as x. Then what's the volume of the, the large tin? We are given this is 108. So it will be 108. Then you solve for x. So we just cross multiply. So it will be now x is equal to so just say single cross multiply. So it will be this will be 8 multiplied by 108 over 27. So I don't waste time by starting multiplying this one by that. So I just moved this one alone, multiply it with this one so that I mean if x this side. Then at this point it becomes easier. So we have 27. So what am I supposed to do? I'm going to divide 3 into let me say 9 into 27 is a 3. Then 9 into 10 is a 1, remember 1, 9 into 18 is a 2, then 3 into 3 is a 1, then 3 into 12 is a 4. So I'm going to remain with 8 multiplied by 4, which will give me 32. So the answer there is just a 32. So 32 centimeter cubic. Remember the units are very important. So this is 32 centimeter cubic. It's a volume of the smaller tin. Once you do that, you are good to go and you get some good for maxi there. Remember, I might take a bit longer, but the principle is I want you to understand how to answer the question, not memorize all the answers.